Feeling stuck in your art skills can be frustrating. It can be demotivating and just plain discouraging. Maybe you've been drawing or painting for a while, but you feel like you're not improving or that you're just not good enough. Well, you are not alone. And the good news is there are ways to break through that creative plateau and level up your art skills. One of the biggest challenges artists face is the creative block. You know, when you just can't seem to come up with anything new or interesting and your art just feels stale. Another challenge is lack of motivation. Maybe you started out with a passion for art, but over time you've lost your enthusiasm and it feels like a chore. And then there's the feeling of inadequacy in your skills. You compare yourself to others and you feel like you just don't measure up. Maybe you've been feeling like you're just not talented enough. And I know the word talent is thrown around everywhere these days. Or that you'll never be as good as the pros. Or maybe you've been afraid to try new things because you're scared of failure. Whatever the challenge may be, it's essential to recognize that they're normal and that every artist faces them at some point. The key is to not let them hold you back from improving and growing as an artist. And right now I wanna tell you about ways that I experiment trying new things out, even though I'm a traditional artist. I was and am self-taught. I picked up a pencil when I was four years old, but you also need to sharpen your skills in other areas, trying new media. And that's where today's sponsor comes into play, Hotu. Look, I'm always on the lookout for new art materials and tools. The thing about Hotu markers, which is what I'm using in this video, is that there are dual tips for durability and versatility. There really is a stunning array of 60 vibrant colors, and I'm just using a handful of them. It's quick drying, it's waterproof, or they're waterproof, they're eco-friendly, and they're non-toxic ink. So aside from the Magic Dual Tips, seamless color blending, all-in-one color set, and the awesome portable packaging, which comes in a nicely zipped pouch, we have to think about the thoughtful details and comfortable experience. They're ergonomically designed for a soft and comfortable grip, and the alcohol markers have brush tips that are reversible, ensuring durability. I want to thank Hotu for sponsoring today's video. All right, let's get back to drawing some critters. Okay, so how do we overcome these challenges and level up our art skills? One strategy is to set specific goals for ourselves. Instead of just saying, I want to get better at drawing, try setting specific goals like, I want to master portrait drawing by the end of the month. Having a clear goal in mind helps you focus your efforts and gives you a sense of direction. Another strategy is to try new techniques and mediums. If you're stuck in a rut, trying something new can be just what you need to get your creative juices flowing. That's why I'm using O2 markers today. This could be anything from experimenting with a new medium, like oil paints or pastels, to try a new style, like abstract art or cartooning, the key is to be open to new experiences and to not be afraid to take risks. Seeking feedback from peers is also a great way to improve your art skills. Joining a community of artists, whether online or in person, can be a great way to get feedback and support from others who understand what you're going through. Don't be afraid to share your work and ask for constructive criticism. It's one of the fastest ways to improve. And a, a tip that I would like to say to that is if you're in the industry or if you're trying to break into the industry or an aspiring artist, it's better to have one to two mentors instead of asking everybody for feedback. Because usually those specific mentors are doing the job that you ultimately aspire to get to. So having their opinions is much more valuable than having 500 opinions and most of them are from people that have no business giving you those opinions to begin with. I remember when I was first starting out as an artist, I was terrified to share my work with others. I was afraid of being rejected or criticized, and I didn't think my art was good enough. 
But one day I decided to take the leap and share my work with an online art community. The feedback I got was invaluable, and it helped me to identify areas where I needed to improve. From that day on, I started to focus on those areas and saw a huge improvement in my skills. I started to gain confidence in my abilities, and I began to take on new challenges and projects that I never would have attempted before. It was a transformative moment for me, and it's something that I wish I had done sooner. Now, I grew up all my life drawing, and when you get feedback from people telling you that you're good, it's different than getting feedback from the public, from people that don't know you online, and also trying to get jobs. Remember, leveling up your art skills takes time, dedication, and practice. It's not something that happens overnight. But with the right approach and mindset, it is possible. So don't give up. Even when it feels like you're not making progress, keep pushing forward, and most importantly, keep practicing. Okay, so I'm not going to leave you hanging. I'm going to give you some ways to practice getting better as an artist, or if you are pretty good, but you want to improve the skills that you already have, pay attention. All right, let's dive into the first technique, artist prompts. Artist prompts are a great way to stimulate your creativity and get your artistic juices flowing. They're simple exercises that challenge you to create art based on a specific theme, style, or subject matter. For example, you might create art inspired by a particular song, a memory from your childhood, or a specific emotion. The possibilities are endless, and the goal is to let your imagination run wild and see what you come up with. Another technique is gesture drawing. Gesture drawing is all about capturing the essence essence and energy of a subject rather than focusing on precise details. It's a fast-paced exercise that requires you to work quickly letting your instincts guide your strokes and movements. This technique is great for loosening up your drawing skills, developing your observational skills, and creating art that's expressive and dynamic. Another technique is one of the personal favorites of mine, abstract exploration. Abstract art is all about experimenting with different textures, colors, and forms to create unique, one-of-a-kind pieces. This technique is all about pushing the boundaries, pushing your boundaries, taking risks, and seeing what happens when you combine different materials and techniques. It's an amazing way to tap into your creative subconscious. Let go of any preconceived notions and produce art that's truly innovative and original. One of the most exciting techniques I've come across is what I like to call artistic restriction. This involves creating art with constraints. Being a concept artist, we're used to this in the industry. A lot of times we are constrained based on a brief, and other times we get briefs that are wide open. So let me give you an example. Using only primary colors, creating art with your non-dominant hand, or working within a specific size or shape. This technique is amazing for stimulating your creativity, challenging your problem-solving skills, and producing art that's refreshingly unique and innovative. Another technique that I think is particularly powerful is the art of observation. This is huge. This involves studying the subtleties of the natural world, observing the intricate details of everyday objects, and capturing those observations in your art. This technique is great for developing your drawing skills, cultivating your attention to detail, and ultimately creating art that's rich, nuanced, and full of depth. I mentor a lot of students, and I tell them constantly, if you want to get better at drawing, go out and look at things to draw, especially people. Go to cafes, go to bus stops, go to parks, anywhere, weather permitting of course, but anywhere where you can see people moving, resting, or conversing on a daily basis. Artistic restriction is a technique that can be applied that artistic restriction is a technique that can be applied to any medium, any style, and any subject matter. It's a technique that can help you break free from your creative constraints 
unlock your full artistic potential and produce art that truly speaks to you. So if you're feeling stuck, uninspired, or just need a kick in the pants to get your creative juices flowing, give artistic restriction a, a try. I promise you. It'll be an experience unlike any other. Okay. So, artistic practice is what we talked about. And feeling like you're not getting any better. How to know when you get better. There are exercises and activities that will stimulate your creativity. So think about the things that we talked about today. Challenge your skills, and that will help you grow as an artist. So don't be afraid to try them out. Experiment with them and see what works for you. I was drawing with some markers today from Hotu, and they're great markers. I experimented, I drew nasty little bugs, and I ended up enjoying it. So I want to thank you for watching, and don't forget to comment below on which techniques you're most excited to try. If you are interested in Hotu markers, I definitely encourage you to check out the first link in the description below, as well as a link in the pinned comments. And if you want more art tips, tricks, and techniques, be sure to check out my next video. Also, on a side note, please check out the links in the description about my Creature Design Workshop and my Creature Design Workshop Discord. Now, the Discord is obviously free to join. It's a bustling community. We are already nearing 3,000 members. It's, it's crazy. It's exciting to see all the new artists come in, and they're all wanting to get better. They're all posting their personal work, asking for feedback. And it's a really nice community where you can come, and there's a great sense of camaraderie. My Creature Design Workshop is what I hold every month if you want to learn how to design creatures from scratch as a complete beginner. Now, I have all kinds of industry veterans in there, intermediates, and beginners. It doesn't matter who joins. Everybody starts on an even slate. There is no prerequisite skill level to join my Creature Design Workshop. I run it through my Discord. So if you're interested, please join my Discord. Take a look around see how it feels. You can find the links necessary to join my workshop, find out how to sign up for it. And then last but not least, if you really want to get personal with your artistic journey and you want to get better at specific things, I do run a private mentorship. This is more intense. There is no skill level required. Anybody is welcome as long as you're hungry to get better at your art. I can help with marketing, I can help with drawing skills, painting skills, and an overall review of your work. Four weeks long, and if you're interested, you can email me. And you'll find my email on my YouTube channel, as well as Discord. I want to thank everybody for listening today. I hope today was helpful, actually. And I will see you all later. Peace.